We don't want to begin to worship and praise God on Sunday if we haven't been worshiping God and praising God on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we have already seen God's goodness and God's wonders and God's power in His creation as we study creation and we've sung the hymns of praise to God throughout the week. So we know that God is gracious and God is wise and wonderful in His amazing creation. And uh, so we've seen the little puffer fish who makes those amazing crop circles at the bottom of the ocean that are so intricate, so beautiful. We know that God created the puffer fish to bring about this amazing genius. And so we've pointed these things out throughout the week and then we say, well, we're worshiping God as we've worshiped Him on Monday through Saturday. And, and God has been good to us and God has been good to you and God has given us breakfast this morning and He's never missed a meal for us. So God has been so good and we're responding to His goodness. And, uh, and then we re remind Him that God has given us a Savior, that we are sinners and we've proven that point throughout the week. We've been bad, uh, we have been naughty with mom and dad and we've been naughty with our brothers and sisters and so now we remember that Jesus came to die on the cross for our sins and he did that because he loves us and uh, so so we remind our children of God's love we remind them of his goodness of all his gifts to us and uh, and his wonders that he's created all around us so that sensitivity to all those incredible things in his creation that he's done we've studied that in our Christian curriculum throughout the week and now we respond in glorious praise on Sunday. So we bring all that together on a Sunday and just praise God from whom all blessings flow.